Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Night Prayer with me, Malcolm Duncan. Thank you for taking the time to be here tonight. I pray that as we gather in the name of Jesus, before the throne of God the Father, by the power of the Holy Spirit, that each of us will be aware of his goodness and his abundant mercy and his grace. Let's settle our hearts and pray together. Thank you for each person gathered here tonight, Lord. Thank you for where we are. Thank you that you are there to settle our hearts and focus our minds as we remember together the words that Jesus taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory now and forever. Amen. God promises his people Israel that he will rescue them and he will keep them. In Isaiah 43 we read, But now thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, 
they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. Promises to a people who needed to be reminded of God's grace. And tonight, God would say to his church, Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the fire, you will not be burned, for I am with you. As we gather in Christ's name, with all of the needs that you might have, God is here. So let's pray together. I want to thank you tonight for each person gathered here in night prayer. This community that has for so long been so faithful. I want to thank you for each person. I want to thank you for their lives. I want to thank you, Lord, that they have prayed for each other. They have wept together. They have rejoiced together. They have encouraged one another and strengthened one another. And I ask that this evening, as we gather in your name, above that wonderful sense of community, you would remind us that you have been faithful to us. You've never left us. You are the source of our life and our hope. You are the source of our forgiveness and our identity. Our worlds, our lives are transformed because of you. And tonight we confess with honest hearts, we love you, Lord. We are so grateful for your mercy and that you love us. And I pray this evening that you will move across every need here represented. I want to thank you that Nikki Haynes, Helena Haynes' brother, is still fighting, that there's been a small improvement. I want to thank you that Gloria Sloan is still fighting, that there's been a small improvement. I want to thank you that Alison Gibson has come through her surgery successfully today. I want to thank you, Lord, for these answers to prayer because these are people who we have been praying for for weeks, in some cases months and years. I want to thank you that you have kept Joel Brown. I want to thank you that you've held Margaret Grimshaw. I want to thank you for looking after Eleanor Tweedy. I want to thank you for being present to each person who's needed your strength and your grace and your courage and your hope. I want to thank you because you are always faithful. I want to thank you, Lord, for your rich and your deep and your profound mercy shown to us. And I pray that that mercy and that grace and that love would be shown again. Thank you that you have looked after Helen McMullen and taken her out of hospital. But tonight we also pray for so many who are still grieving for Helen herself, for her children, for Alistair and for Stephen and for Desi and for Ruth, particularly for Ruth and for Deborah and for uh, Suzanne and Lord for your hand upon them and Catherine as they remember Alec as a dad and as a husband, son-in-law. Would you comfort them and strengthen them for Desi as he remembers so much loss in his life? I want to pray tonight for myself and for my sister and my family for my children and my wife, as we remember tomorrow, the death of my mum, the, the anniversary of her passing away. Would you give each of us courage and strength? I pray for my brothers and for my nephews and nieces and all of our family. I want to pray for my daughter-in-law, Ellie, as she attends her grandmother's funeral tomorrow and for Benjamin and for Ellie's family and for little Arthur. Would you look after them? Would you comfort them and strengthen them? I pray tonight for those people that we have been lifting to you. A man I prayed with last night in church who needs you to touch him physically. Would you minister to him? For Leslie Cole, Lord, that she would know your strength and that Alistair would know your strength, that the whole family, Ian and Pauline and Brian, would know your strength too. I want to pray for Pauline Mooney. I want to pray for your hand on Hazel McLean. I want to pray... Father, for breakthroughs in these situations, for Susan Miles and Michael Miles, I want to ask you for, uh, for your hand to be upon Heather Miles' dad, Lord, that she would know your presence and your peace and your wisdom. I pray that she would be encouraged and strengthened by you. I pray, Father, that you would comfort and strengthen all those who need a touch of your spirit tonight. 
all those whose lives are uncertain. Pray for Rachel Bennett and for David, I pray, Father, for the Binghams, I pray for your hand to be upon all of them. There are so many. And here in this gathering, Lord, I think of, uh, of Janet Pedden and her family. I think of Patricia Criddle and her family. I think of the wider needs that have been brought to my attention. For, for many others, Lord, I pray for Eileen MacDonald. I pray for Yvonne Bryson. I pray for um, Alan and, and uh, Yvonne Gordon. Thank you for Alan and, and Yvonne's faithfulness in prayer. I pray, Father, for their friends that they often pray for. We lift to you tonight our own family members, our own friends, those that are uncertain and finding life difficult. We pray for our neighbours and our friends and our colleagues who are worried about their finances and worried about their health for NHS workers that are exhausted, for funeral directors that are weary, for politicians that are trying, for public leaders in business and in commerce that are doing their best. Father, we don't agree with all of the decisions that are being made in our nation right now, but we lift our leaders to you and we pray for strength. I want to pray for the CEOs of health boards and for the chairmen of boards, for senior civil servants. I want to pray for businesswomen and businessmen, for teachers and for nurses and for doctors and for surgeons, for counsellors, for so many people who need your wisdom and your grace. Pour your spirit out upon each one. And in these moments, thank you that your peace passes understanding and that you remain faithful. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you so, many, so much to those of you that have bought my little book, my new book, Night Blessings. You can see the little image up there in the corner. In fact, I'll just put a bigger one up for you so you can see it. There are three of these books now. The one on uh, the left of the screen, which is, let me just, there's my finger. That one, that is the newest one right there, the grey and mauve one. Thank you to those of you that have already bought it. Thank you to those of you that want to buy it. Um, it's going really well. And on um, Amazon, um, it's right up at the top of the um, best-selling list. So could you help me nudge it into number one? Um, they've got some more stock in. So if you want to um, if you want to buy some for Christmas, just go to Amazon and look for Night Blessings, Meditations to End the Day. That's the most recent version. Somebody asked me, could they buy 20? Last week, I wasn't able to get them for them. People are buying them for schools. They're buying them for home groups. They're buying them for churches. They're buying them for friends and family. This is a great little book and can be used for people who are Christians and Chris people who are not. It's for those who want reassurance and encouragement and help. And I'd love you to um, invest in a couple, some for you and some for your friends and family. I would be so grateful. Uh, tonight, as we close, I want to invite you to sing with me a really ancient, a wonderful, wonderful old hymn. It's one of my favourites. It's my eldest son's very favourite. And I pray that as you sing this with me, you will be reminded that God is the source of all of our blessings. Good night. Come thou fount of every blessing Tune my heart to sing thy grace Streams of mercy never ceasing Call for songs of loudest praise Teach me some melodious sonnet Sung by flaming tongues above Praise the mountain fixed upon it, mount of thy redeeming love. Here I raise my Ebenezer, hither by thy help I've come.
precious blood. Take and seal it, seal it for 